What's happening folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more Live Aha, and we're going to go back to the 1991 performance in Argentina, and as I mentioned maybe a week or so ago, I'm going to try to go through and do some uh, reactions to songs on these various live performances that are songs for which the studio versions, uh, my reactions to them, were eventually and quite retrospectively uh, blocked by YouTube uh, to the point where I had to mute those videos just because I felt like at least, you know, my post-reaction comments and the descriptions, which I write only a few hours after I do the reaction, so it's still very fresh in my mind. Um, yeah, again, I felt like the, um, the value of still having the videos in part on YouTube was better than just um, letting them be blocked forever and no one can ever see them again. So it's still annoying, obviously. Uh, as far as I know, there haven't been any more that have been blocked in the last couple of weeks since I first, you know, um, was told this was happening and, you know, confirmed it for myself. So, uh, in any case, I do want to go through and listen to some of the songs that were, the studio versions uh, were blocked because I feel like maybe with a slightly different recording, slightly different sound, you know, maybe it'll still be copyrighted but not um, as restricted um, and in such a restricted way as the studio version. So, one such tune that was blocked and which I think for many people is one of their very favorites, if not the absolute favorite, I think there's even a couple people who said this is their top uh -huh tune, that is The Sun Always Shines on TV. Um, you know, I really enjoy it. Um, it, it, it spoke to me when I was um, reacting to their opening album because as I you know mentioned at the time and as I think many of you um, have realized um, I went into the aha uh -huh, um, deep dive knowing that they were more than just the stylings of Take On Me um, but it was going through the first couple albums uh, that I really began to experience that and this tune was one of those that really sort of um, pushed it to the next level in terms of what I was thinking about their music and what I was coming to expect as we were going forward. So, um, yeah, it was a sort of, you know, a landmark tune in my very earliest days of enjoying this band. So, let's hear it. This is a live performance of The Sun Always Shines on TV in Argentina in 1991.
definitely has a lot of oomph to this version. I mentioned before the live sound, it is what it is. My only complaint is the bass is like a little, it's a little hot. talking and like somehow traveled through time or like oh like is this worth listening to absolutely and they just punch that ending and that last extension from Morton is unbelievable so yeah it's like I said I know the sound in some of these like bootleg recordings isn't the greatest you know it's not like uh, direct line like crisp audio um, but I still think it's worth it especially again when you have performances like that it's great that they were captured um, so we can enjoy them years later. So, yeah, like I said, maybe the bass was a bit loud or, like, um, overblown. But ultimately, um, yeah, super cool recording. Uh, a very powerful performance of the song. And like I said, the way they pushed it in those last moments is just brilliant. So let me know what you think. I will see you next time. Peace.